Welcome back to a brand new episode of Animal of the Week, this time featuring two animals in one, so I'm sort of cheating. However, the reason I'm doing two in one is because these two animals are incredibly similar to each other and both equally amazing. However, I can't justify doing two separate videos on them because they are almost identical, so I'll roll them into one. The two animals in question are Acryoptera, Manga, and Phallax. The two species are incredibly large and colourful stick insects that are some of the most amazing and beautiful ones I've ever seen. Both are from the genius Acryoptera, which contains 11 species, however these two are the most famous and distinctive looking. Phallax was first discovered in 1861, however recently a population of blue mailed insects thought to be Phallax were found to be genetically different and so Manga was discovered and became a separate species. They are part of the family Phasmatidae and so are obviously stick insects. A key characteristic of most Phasmatidae is that they are usually some of the largest insects on earth, which is why the Manga and Phallax fit so well, as the Phallax Phallax females can grow to around 185 centimeters long, and manga females can get up to 23. However, both species males are considerably shorter, around 14 centimeters. However, it's the males that display the amazing blue coloration. Both Phallax and Manga hail from the island of Madagascar, which is probably not surprising as Madagascar is the home of amazingly unique biodiverse animals. Within Madagascar, both these insects have a rather small range, only inhabiting the shrinking forests of the north of the island. Manga has only been found in one single forest so far, where the population was studied and it was decided that they were a separate species from Phallax. Within these forests, they obviously enjoy living on plants as they are stick insects, and use them not just for feeding, but also as a form of protection by camouflage themselves as sticks. This however only holds true for the females of these two species, and the males have a much harder time staying hidden in the green forest habitats. Both species are quite popular as pets, and can do quite well in captivity if properly cared for. Phallax and Manga's diet in the world isn't exactly known, however based upon what they eat in captivity, we can make some pretty educated guesses. In captivity they will eat brambles, raspberries and eucalyptus leaves, and so we can safely assume in the wild they will be eating the leaves of native plants as well as native berries. Interestingly in the species Manga, females have been observed to prefer eating old and dry leaves instead of fresher food, which we really don't have an explanation for, they just seem to prefer that. Many species of stick insects are able to reproduce through parthenogenesis, meaning females produce fertile eggs that will then hatch into offspring without the presence of male sperm. However, in both manga and phallax, asexual reproduction does not take place and both males and females are required for things to work. The male and female will copulate and then usually the male will leave after just a few days together. Interestingly, both species also deviate from many other stick insects in the place they lay their eggs. A lot of species will lay their eggs attached to the leaves of plants, or on the stems, but the species Phallax actually lays their eggs on the ground in the soil. Manga also does things a bit differently and does not deposit its eggs in an orderly manner, instead literally just dropping the eggs wherever she is and letting them fall to the ground or get caught in foliage. Really it's just in a very random manner. Phallax eggs then take around 6 to 9 months to hatch and then the offspring will live for about 10 months with sexual maturity being reached at around 4 to 6 months. This is when the males get their amazing colours. In the species Manga, eggs take around 4 to 5 months to hatch, with the offspring having a pretty similar lifespan. Scientists are stumped about why the males are such vivid colours and so decided to breed them in captivity to observe their behaviour. They found that males only started pursuing females once their colours had come in, and so they hypothesised that it may be to do with attracting a mate, however they were puzzled because surely they would attract predators far sooner than they would attract a mate with those bright blue colours. And so it's thought that they might in fact be a form of aposematism. Males have to move around a lot, much more than the females in order to find mates, and so it's rather hard for them to stay still and look like a stick, so it's thought that they might have gone the other way, evolving to stand out as a warning to predators that they might be toxic because they weren't going to be well camouflaged anyway with all the hopping around. Now unlike a lot of animals, these insects do have something to back up their threat, and aren't just bluffing. Many stick insects, and these ones included, have neck glands that spray a nasty repellent substance towards predators. You may also be wondering about the tiny wings you see on the males. These wings may seem like a vestigial trait, however it is thought in these species it may actually have some use and add to the whole bright toxic look. This is why the wings are so brightly coloured and not just plain wings. 
They are particularly vulnerable to birds of paradise as well as reptiles and even the native mammal populations like Tenrex if they get the chance. Both Phalax and Manga are commonly bred in captivity and you can even have them as a household pet, so their populations overall aren't under threat. However, in the wild, the continuing deforestation of the few northern forests that these two species live in is threatening their populations. Thank you for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it and if you'd like to see more from us.